do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. No, no, no. My sister. Oh, God. All I have to do is betray my own sister and you will let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! You fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Rad. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually, the lens doesn't come off, so... Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft! Jeez Louise! <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? Linda, when you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision. And this is Chris's film, so... Don't worry about it. Let's just go again, okay? You did it your way, now we do it my way. Hold still, let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right, on your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, 
uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Sheriff, right. Sorry. How many times have I told you to stay away from this place? We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. Sheriff Green, sir, with all due respect, we almost got this thing entirely in the can, and if we don't get our last few shots here in our main location, we're gonna have to scrap the whole thing. Then you're just gonna have to scrap the whole thing. All right, then arrest us. What? Arrest us for trespassing. Uh, Linda. Linda, come on. I know I'm just Robert's dad, but I'm still a cop. And you gotta start taking me seriously. Because you really, really cannot be here. Why do you care so much? I thought it was abandoned. Yeah, it's not like we're looting the place. It's not safe. Just go home. But we've only got like three more little scenes and then we're done. Well, I don't think you're going to be doing any more filming today. Not with that. What the hell crawled up his ass? Nah, he's not so bad, usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. out, sir. Now, don't you try and pull any fast ones on me. I'll be watching. Yes, sir. so dramatic. It's not like we've got a real deadline. Ugh, who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate 
cosmic, eternal deadline. Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. Wait, you guys are both acting. So, it'll just be me? So you'll be like our ambassador. <laughs> yeah, not a chance. Hmm. Whoa, 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 don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good. Unless, you know, you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh well, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell yeah, I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all ended. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so what was this guy's name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Who are the victims? Just people. Some from the town, some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity, Buster. Oh. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but, like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Ugh. Hey, why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? So, yeah, the thing is, I kind of spent the rest of the budget on the t-shirts. Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kind of shit out of luck. <laughs> What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Howdy, partner. How's life on the range? Did he hit his head or something? The hell's wrong with you? Uh, nothing, sorry. Ugh, why is Dad such a demanding asshole? I came home to help, not do everything. I mean, I'm not a maid. Do I look like a fucking maid? You better not say I look like a fucking maid. He's just worried about Mom. Psh, more like he's worried that as soon as she croaks, I'm out of here. And then he'll have to be his own fucking maid for once in his life. Yeah, but... Mom's gonna get better soon, so it's not gonna matter. Right. Yeah. Of course you're right. Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing Mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. 
I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. What? What? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Just like 10 bucks? So let's say hypothetically, I help you out. What do I get out of this? You gonna make me a producer or something? Sure, of course. Associate producer, Bonnie Rivera. Associate producer is a bullshit favor credit. Linda. <laughs> okay, yeah, I don't really give a shit about having a credit on your movie. So, maybe if you actually have something real to offer. Ah. Uh, all right. All right, fine. You can borrow my van all week. <laughs> what? Dude, I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. Vans are cool. Everybody wants to drive a van. No, try again. If I may offer a suggestion, Jaime, why don't you take over some of Bonnie's chores? Uh... Hmm, enticing. Oh, man. All of my chores, no complaints. <sighs> yes, ma'am. Then I think we got a deal. Wise decision. Don't try and weasel out of it, either. Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure's all mine. a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go... Yeah, any time! <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. What? What about there? I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they have some rad old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Drugstore, I don't want to risk missing our chance. Are you sure? Curiosity shop does look pretty cool. We can check it out after. Fair enough. So, who's going to do the honors? The honors? Talk to the clerk. You're afraid to talk to a drugstore clerk? <sighs> no, I'm just... You just don't want to haggle, do you? Hey, I already completely debased myself to get the money from my sister. You're just afraid you're going to totally turf it and get ripped off. That's ridiculous. Oh, boy. I'm is right. That drugstore clerk's gonna smell blood in the water a mile away. Maybe you should- Hold on, hold on. I'll take care of it. No sweat. Gonna get us the deal of the century. Good luck. Yeah, um, got a- Cursed movies? 
Really? This camera. Um, Must be so a slow news day. It's not pretty. The lens is busted, and I don't know if you guys are able to help with something like that, but we really need to get it fixed. So I just figured I'd come in and check. So yeah, I was wondering if you could take a look at it and uh, let me know if it's something you can help us with. Kid. I hope they're found. And they better wield his charm to get us a good deal. We're so close to finishing the movie. I could so find a place for these in Murder Mill. If we had any cash to spare, which we absolutely do not. Demolition scheduled this year. Whoa. Our movie is gonna be the last record of the mill. How's it going? I'm working on it. Ooh. I wonder if Linda's found anything cool. Man, if this is a bust and we can't finish the movie, fucking tragic. Yeah. I think if the world's deprived of Murder Mill, there's an outside chance it'll keep turning. Come on. Linda, what's the deal? Like, generally speaking? This movie's only gonna be good if all of us care about making it good. Chris, what do you think is actually gonna happen with this movie? We're gonna finish it, then I guess we'll try to find someone to release it or show it or... No, no, I mean, oh, do you think we're making something that's not gonna suck? <laughs> We are making something great. Something that's gonna be huge for all of us. Something we can be proud of? Something that's gonna make us famous. Then we can do whatever we want. <laughs> I don't know about you, but if we pulled that off, I'd be proud. Well, at least half of success is ambition, and you got it in spades. Well, I don't think I'd be able to do it without you. Mm. Excuse me, young ladies, but is there something I can help you with? Oh, hey you. <laughs> Hi, Robert. You quit working at the library? Ah, those are just volunteer hours. Now you're looking at an honest to goodness working stiff. Oh, income security is a very attractive quality in a man. So is access to book reservations. <laughs> hey. So, got bad news and good news. Bad news first, always. The bad news is they can't fix the camera. Ah, 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 ah. Don't you want to hear the good news? What's the good news? The good news is, Robert Greene's working in the drugstore now. Ta-da. Uh, we already knew that. Yeah, for like at least 30 seconds. Keep up with the times, Jaime. Gotta keep up. <laughs> Curiosity shop's probably still open if you want to see if they'll fix it. Yeah, let's head over there. What's the camera for? Dude, we're making the most 
killer horror movie the world's ever seen. No shit. Well, we were, until your dad broke our camera. He did what? It was an accident. We were shooting at the old mill, and he was not pleased. <sighs> I'm not surprised. He's always got his eye on that place. He already kicked us out once. But I don't think there's anything on the planet that's going to stop our director from finishing her magnum opus. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but there's more than one way into that mill. Oh, really? If you get the camera situation sorted out, you let me know. Message received. Let's just check it out. It's not like we have anything to lose. Come on! Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques? Then we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Shall we? If this is a trap, and we're walking right into the lair of the tchotchke chopper, I'm selling you out first chance I get. Likewise, compadre. Let's just take a look around and see what we can find. How can you find anything in a place like this? Getting lost is half the fun. M maybe nobody's home. Bummer. I was hoping to show off how good I am at haggling. And again, if we find a camera, we could just walk on out with it. That's not... I'm not saying we should just steal something. Who's gonna notice? There's like a bajillion things in this place. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't feel right. I just want to get this movie made any way we can. Why don't we spread out? Start over there. Oh, cute bunny. Whoever owned this place before had some lousy luck. So, I've been thinking. About gothic romance novels? Yes. But no, about the movie. I think we could really... As I was saying before, I think we could really strengthen the narrative if we just shoot an extra scene. Like, what kind of extra scene? There's... I don't know, a scene where they talk a little bit about who they're trying to save and, you know, why. Hmm. I like it. It's a good idea. 
<laughs> Thanks. Who would want to watch this creep fest? Surely there's something that can help us amongst all this junk. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. If you were the proprietor of this shop, where would you put the cameras? <laughs> Imagine cuddling up to that at night. I'm glad to see you're all having fun, but if you insist on using my store as a playground, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to ask you to take it outside. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just make sure you put it back where you found it. Wait, we're just looking for something to replace this? Oh, I see. We're making a film, and we broke it. Got anything that could help us? With all the cameras in the window, we just thought we'd see. There was one thing. I'm just not sure I still have it. I'll have to look in my back room for a few moments, if you don't mind waiting. We don't mind. I'll just be a minute. Ten to one, she brings us a photo camera. <laughs> or a telescope. Shh, give her a minute. Been in no, maybe in this one. Oh, yes, here you are. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting like so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? Ten bucks. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. It feels a little high for something so old. Hmm. It is quite a valuable piece, so I'm afraid I'm unable to lower the price, but perhaps I can sweeten the deal. One of a kind, handmade. It's for luck. Uh, thanks, but I think I'll pass. I'm afraid that's the best I can offer. You know what? We'll take the camera. The price is fine. Oh, oh very good. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, 
It was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> I... I... I think I'm good here. You're lost. Thank you. 
Do you really think Augustine might be up to something? Like, do you think she isn't gonna follow through on her uh, offers? Never trust an offer until the money's in the bank, figuratively speaking, especially if it seems too good to be true. Oh, come on, not everyone's trying to outmaneuver everyone else all the time. They are in my business. Well, show business is not real life. Real life is overrated. Maybe, but it's the only life I got. Only if you believe that. Why don't we go look around together? Unless you want to stay here by yourself? Okay. Oh, never thought your little Maddie Bear would end up in a place like this, huh? That? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Never mind. What were you shouting about? Look at this place! You should shoot when your movie's here. Why? Because it's cool as hell! We might as well take a look around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got it cheap from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy I know, who also got me the blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. Found the turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, you can be sure of that. Huh. Now that was a curious sound. Looks like practically every room in the house. But where's our host? Well, hello. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or... Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. 
Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Patty, that's... It's quite sad. Very touching. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. Whoa. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Looks like it opens with a key. I should check on Maddie. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. Yeah? Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. You'd really get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Talking to someone special? What? I, um, what do you mean? Like, Bonnie? Perhaps? I was in Berlin, you know, at school, when I heard she was sick. But it was my midterms, and she said I should just come home when I finished. So I did, but by then it was too late. She died while I was over the Atlantic. It all happened so fast, it doesn't feel like she's gone. So I just kind of pretend like she isn't. She was a good talker. <laughs> yeah, she was. Hey, look at this. This was just last summer. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her? 
from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids, making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but... There's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Right, um, so... Do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay.